Boy, this game, this thing would actually start recording when I told it to. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Art School. We're going to Art School, but it's spelled with a Q because we're cool like that. What is this portfolio? Oh, actually gives, okay. So apparently the paintings you make are, like, this is, bas is this basically a draw program masquerading as a game? Hello, Frostman. Welcome to art school. My name is Professor Quartz. I am an advanced neural network trained on over 100,000 teraflops of the greatest art in the world. I will be your faculty advisor this semester. My job is to analyze your work against my vast database and give you constructive feedback. I was made by scientists, so I am really good at this. Don't worry, it sounds technical, but art school is really simple once you get the hang of it. Just use your drawing pad to complete... I don't have a drawing pad. Find a giant fruit and draw it in a still life. When you have completed the assignment, return to my office for a critique. Once again, welcome to art school. Oh, I am not down for this music. Hello, I am Frostman. It's my first day here at... Oh my god, I... Oh, this music. They're sing it's singing. Oh my god, I want to drive a fork into my ears. Oh, okay, so. Alright. Um, another color swatch. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, camera. Can I, like, minimize this? Because, like, I'd like to see where I'm going. Do I have a... I don't... Okay. Oh! I can just kind of fly. Okay. That's cool. Whoa! I must find a giant fruit. And draw it in a still life. Man, if I thought Moonbase was uncompelling to watch. Is this going to be another uh, another twofer? This might be another twofer. Honestly, I may I may just I may just cut this because like holy shit, this is a fucking fail. I'm sure it's great if like if you actually want to learn how to do art, but I don't, and that's not what I play. I don't play games to be taught. The environments are kind of interesting, but... Okay, yeah. You know what? You know what? This is like... This is three minutes. Fuck this. We're doing something else. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Walden. Um, <clears throat> I'm wondering if uh, this has anything to do with the classic book. Um, I have a mouse. Uh, that's gonna force me to use my controller. God damn it! Here we go again. Wonder this, but like I said, I don't know if I said it already, but I do hope this maybe has something to do with the book. Do not adjust your set. It's doing. If, if it looks slow, it's doing the I exact same thing. Because I wish to live deliberately. Yeah, yeah, it has everything to do with the book. The essential facts of life, and not when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life. To live so sturdily and Spartan-like is to reduce it to its lowest terms. And if it proved to be mean to get the whole and genuine meanness of it, or if it were sublime, to know it by experience, and to give a true account of it. Okay. 
beginning when he throws experiments, he got the glistening arrowheads throughout the woods. The first one's the wrong, between you and the cabin. When I wrote the following pages, or rather, the bulk of them, I lived alone in the woods, a mile from any neighbor, in a house which I had built myself, on the shore of Walden Pond, in Concord, Massachusetts, and earned my living by the labor of my hands only. Am I, have I been tricked into playing a walking simulator? When I first took up my abode in the woods, my house was not finished. It was a pleasant hillside where I worked, covered with pine woods, through which I looked out on the pond, and a small open field in the woods where pines and hickories were springing up. Oh, oh, there's, there's actual gameplay. that tutorial. Oh, I have to go in there. Okay. July 4th, 1845. Dearest Henry, congratulations on the start of your experiment. I hope that the work goes well and the ideas are fruitful. Mr. Emerson says you are in... July 1845. My dear Henry. Mr. Emerson has assisted my family in acquiring a house. There is some of the same fitness in a man's building his own house that there is in a bird's building its own nest. Who knows, but if men constructed their dwellings with their own hands and provided food for themselves and families simply and honestly enough, the poetic faculty would be universally developed, as birds universally sing when they are so engaged. Hmm. What are you doing now? Emerson asked. Do you keep a journal? So I make my first entry today. Ooh. Oh. July, 1845. Dear Mr. Thoreau, my employer, Dr. Agassiz, was happy to meet you last month with Mr. Emerson and was quite impressed with your knowledge of local biology. My house was on the side of a hill, immediately on the edge of the larger wood, in the midst of a young forest of pitch pines and hickories and half a dozen rods from the pond, to which a narrow footpath led down the hill. In my front yard grew the strawberry, blackberry, and life everlasting, John's wart and goldenrod, shrub oaks and sand cherry, blueberry and groundnut. The grand necessity, then, for our bodies is to keep warm, to keep the vital heat in us. I shall go get my fishing rod.
Did I miss? No. Still farther down that way. I don't know, like, okay. I don't know what it's asking me to do. Like, I, I missed that tutorial with the, it said, I, I swear it said something about the right stick, but I'm doing the motion it asks, and this is fucking, I, I, I'm doing what your jet set radio asked me to do, but it's not working. Oh, I have to hold LT. Oh. Why didn't you say so? Okay, that makes more sense now. Oh, okay. I get fish. I have fish. Okay. I like that this is all like in the world, like my my journal is like in the world kind of thing and like and I also appreciate that I don't have to worry about inventory management, that it's just like, oh, you get food or you get fuel, it just goes to your supply. And it's like, okay. I appreciate that. Can I examine these? Ooh. Can't grab it, but Hello little squirrel buddy. Everything, like, everything's got... Okay, cool. Pine groves, dear. Shoes are forsaking their oaks to worship in them. Arrowhead, I missed one. When I was four years old, as I well remember, I was brought from Boston to this my native town, through these very woods in this field, to the pond. It is one of the oldest scenes stamped on my memory, and now tonight my flute has waked the echoes over that very water. Looks like these are spawning these I probably residence was more favorable not only to thought, but to serious reading than a university. And though I was beyond the range of the ordinary circulating library, I had more than ever come within the influence of those books which circulate round the world. The necessaries of life for man in this climate may, accurately enough, be distributed under the several heads of food, shelter, clothing, and fuel. For not till we have secured these are we prepared to entertain the true problems of life with freedom and a prospect of success. Nope. Right stick. I had to press LT every time.
Okay, well, there is a fire down there. Just how uh, energy am I? Very tired, but inspired. That's pretty much every time I have a thought at like 3 a.m. Very tired, but inspired. That was quick. I'm fully rested. Fully rested and inspired. So yeah, this is another like this this is very much giving me like short hike vibes where like I don't know, I just I just feel like I feel chill, you know? where you are. You <laughs> So someone came out to give me mail, probably saw me standing asleep next to the workbench and was like, okay, whatever. July 1845. Dear Henry, you've told me yourself that it is difficult to begin anything without borrowing. And I know that you can use an axe so I've left one for you in my front yard by the chopping stump. Do come by any time to fetch it. Perhaps we can discuss the new lecture I am working on while you are here. Your friend, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Ah. Lovely. All right. Let's go get that axe. Interacting with visitors. So I am a little weird and uninspired. I have no inspiration. Well, that's why I'm going to go take a walk. you stop throwing up tutorials in the middle of everything? I know what I'm doing. I, I, I got the map the first time I opened up the book, okay? Ah, there's the Emersons. Which, actually, yeah, it is. Emerson, yeah. Which is funny, because, like, that's... <laughs> it's funny to me. I won't tell you why. Odd jobs is workbench for money.
It's very good to make your acquaintance, Mr. Thoreau. Your sister seems to believe our thoughts and philosophies are very much aligned. It is good to find a youth so interested in the finer fruits of thought. Oh, Henry, how goes your new experiment? Has genius struck yet at my woodlot? No genius yet, only some summer hairs. Well, I'm sure your muse will find you soon. Time in the woods has always given you inspiration. Since you're here, I could use your assistance with some research I'm doing for a new lecture. Could you spare the time to help? Right, so I'm fairly certain like 50% of you have already clicked away. Oh, certainly. Oh, thank you. I know you're quite busy with your own work, but I need help finding my copy of Homer's Iliad. I saw that. Yes, I have seen it and can get it for you. Oh, that's wonderful. When you come back, we can discuss the passage I'm looking for. I look forward to it. Goodbye for now. Which, it's, yeah. Alright, so I'm probably gonna like cut this in half. Cause yeah, this is an interesting game, but like this is probably one you live stream more than you record. Cause then there's no interaction, and I I don't know, this feels like a game that'd be good for like interaction. This wetland area is home to many animals, such as bullfrogs and blue jays. You can cross the bond if you find a boat. Fun game, but not worth recording. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, no, no. God damn it. Quit the desktop. Okay, cool. See you guys on the next one.